Right, hello and welcome to the C7 ZR1 Corvette, one of the best Corvettes that you can own in Gran Turismo 7. I mean, what doesn't this car have? I mean, it has a ton of power, producing 1,121 brake horsepower, coming in at a weight of 1,195 kgs, which means when it comes to going down a straight line, it is very, very fast. We see that we are able to hit 300 kilometers per hour with absolute ease and that's the thing with this being a ZR1 it's unlike your usual American vehicle that's only going straight away I know that statement just upsetted someone so yes would it be a ZR1 well this vehicle is also incredible through the corners somehow I don't know how they did it over at Chevrolet but they managed to create a vehicle that's able to handle this level of power and still go around corners incredibly fast. The way the Corvette CR1 actually just puts the power down, I mean with it having over a thousand horsepower, no traction control on, yes the vehicle does have its moments where the rear end wants to slip out, but I mean you get to expect that. But I didn't expect how well this vehicle performs. My only takeaway from this vehicle has to be that it doesn't have the best fuel economy but hey, you can't have everything. But let's say you are a fan of the Corvette ZR1 but you want something a bit older or something with a bit more heritage. Well, by all means, you can pick between the C1 Corvette or the C2 Corvette and I'll explain in a bit. Now I am going to be bouncing between both of these cars to keep this video from being about 30 minutes long. So the C1 Corvette, this vehicle you can pick it up from the legendary dealership and this vehicle once fully upgraded produces 617 brake horsepower and comes in a weight of just over a thousand kgs which means it has tons of power and is relatively lightweight. Now the thing is you would think this would mean, you know what, it's going to be a rapid vehicle. The problem is, if we actually look at lap times, we see that it says lap times around the 1 minute 39 second mark, which frankly isn't the fastest thing out there, but why is it so slow? That has to be down to the fact that this vehicle has zero downforce. There is no force pushing the vehicle down to the ground to help grip up. And because of that, you might actually find yourself facing the wrong direction or completely spinning out. Yes, the Corvette C1 is very powerful, but it honestly struggles to put the power down. And that was the biggest downfall when I actually tested this vehicle out when it actually came to the game. Because the C1, I thought it was going to be a fantastic vehicle, but just due to the lack of downforce, it's not really that good. However, if we look at the Corvette C2. Yes, the second generation Corvette, which is still a classic that everyone is still after. This Corvette actually offers downforce. So we see the C2 Corvette actually comes with a power output of 849 brake horsepower, which is 200 more than what you get out of the C1 Corvette. And we also gain a few kgs with it being in the C2 now, but still. The vehicle is under 1,100 kgs and with this power level, it is incredibly fast. But with the vehicle having downforce, it's just such a good vehicle. Yes, you do need to make some tunes to a differential so the wheels aren't just lighting up every single second of its existence. But you are able to actually put the power down. Now, yes, you are going to have to fight the vehicle a bit, but it is a lot, almost 10 times easier to control the C2 Corvette than the C1 Corvette. Now, when it comes to engine swaps, yes, because you can now have the best of both worlds. You can have the power from the modern ZR1 and the looks or the styling from the C1 or C2 Corvette. So, this engine swap, once you add it and fully upgraded, you are left with 1,121 brake horsepower because the engine from the ZR1 is actually lighter than the C1 standard engine well we see now the vehicle weighs 992 kgs it is so much lighter and just so much more powerful and this creates what I thought was gonna be an absolute dead machine I mean don't get me wrong it still is 
but I just expected it to be such an like a hassle to drive I was expecting like the same performance I was just expecting the same performance that you would find from your Hellcat swapped Willys Jeep like just pure chaos every time you get on the power but that simply wasn't the case yes the C1 Corvette was difficult to control it wields it just spun its wheels at every given chance but somehow it was still fun to drive I enjoyed my experience and no point in time that I think no this is rubbish it's useless there's no point in even trying this vehicle out it is fun the fact that we can put modern power into some classic styling like this in the C1 Corvette is just absolutely phenomenal so if you are a fan of the C1 Corvette I would say you know what consider engine swapping it but if you are looking for a vehicle well if you are looking for a C1 at a good power level keep the standard engine in it but I do say that with the engine swap in the Corvette C1 well this vehicle is able to do over 400 kilometers per hour which is just so cool in my opinion I just find it so fascinating that we are actually able to hit that level of speed in such a classic American icon now if I had to pick between engine swapping the C1 or the C2 Corvette I'm going to say go for the C2 Corvette because just simply due to the fact of it having downforce downforce plays such a critical role and it just aids in the car going around corners so much easier and that is seen with the C2 the C2 yes it's not testing the fastest lap times because we see it said lap times around the 1 minute 37 second mark which frankly isn't very competitive but it's still an improvement over the vehicle's standard lap times which was like 2 minutes so it is a massive improvement so if you are a fan of these classic Corvettes and want to experience pure power and carnage engine swap them but if you have to pick between the two go with the C2 Corvette I just found it to be much more of an enjoyable experience you aren't really fighting with the vehicle as much as compared to the C1 Corvette but at the end of the day it just simply doesn't compete with your standard ZR1 yes the C7 ZR1 is just perfect you cannot compare old technology to new technology and make them mix and expect that mixture to be better than the original ZR1 because the C7 ZR1 hands down that vehicle is testing lap times around the 1 minute 28 second mark it's fun it does everything you want it to do and the older cars just simply can't do it as well so with that being said I still say engine swap the C2 Corvette don't worry about engine swapping the C1 Corvette but overall if you're looking for the fastest or the best Corvette to own well you still need to look at just buying the C7 ZR1 from Brand Central so with those being said I want to know your thoughts in the comment section down below what do you think am I wrong let me know in the comment section and with those being said thank you so much for watching thank you so much for your time and I'll see you guys in the next video peace